Hey everyone, it's Heather. Sorry we haven't been posting in a while. I know we haven't been posting in a while, but summer's been coming up and we've been really busy. Also, thank you guys so much for nine subscribers. I know it's not a lot, but just to get started off with, yes, it is a ton. So, today, since I'm a theater kid slash theater geek or whatever, or an actress, anyways, so I'm going to be doing the theater tag. Uh, it's basically just asking me about theater and i'm gonna answer them i don't know okay question number one how old are you i'd rather not say because i just sorry i just don't want to say really question number two when did you start getting into theater i started getting into theater basically when i was about i think seven or eight seven years old uh my sister did Cinderella with my director that I do it with now and she really liked it so I decided to sign up for the next play which was 101 Dalmatians and I've never got ensemble with him the first part the, the first play I've ever done with was 101 Dalmatians with him and I got Pepper which is one of the dogs um three how many shows have you been in I've been in about uh I would say about like 16 shows Favorite role you've ever played? The favorite role I've ever played was Xi'an Po in Mulan, which was re this, which was recently. Uh, it was during the spring. It's it was actually it's really cool. I really liked that part. It was it was one of the best parts I've ever got. It was really funny. The person was very funny. They got a lot of solos, got a lot of lines, basically in every scene. Um. A tip you always give to the new theater kids. Don't be afraid. And the one tip I always give everyone who is new, don't be afraid. Try to shine your brightest because if you suck it in, you're not going to be the best on the best because there's going to be a lot of kid people on top of you. I know it's deep, but it's true. Um, biggest theater pet peeves. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my biggest pet peeve is when people don't memorize their lines. Because when they come to the show, well, not to the show, but when they come to practice the day that the teacher says that, they're like, you better memorize your lines, and then they don't memorize it. I'm just like, seriously, how do you not memorize them? I know some of them got, like, really big lines, but it's part of the work of being in this theater. You know, some people say you have to do the work to get the reward. That's basically it. If you do the work, like studying the lines and practicing the songs, you get the reward of getting a good part. Uh, biggest strength, biggest weaknesses. Biggest strength, acting. I am so good at acting. Um, my big, my, um, my, my, uh, biggest weakness is singing and, well, singing at audition is really one of my biggest weaknesses. Ever since uh, Mulan, I have been got, getting so many little characters, and they some of them have been good, and some of them have been bad. Uh, but yeah, um, at Mulan, I kind of just burst it out, and I was like, I'm done getting small parts. That's when I started getting big parts. Your biggest inspiration in theater? My biggest inspiration is... Well, my biggest inspiration, basically, that what continues me to do theater is that I see some of the people on Broadway, and I just be like, man, I want to be just like them. Like, Indita Menzel, she w she played Alphaba on Broadway in Wicked. When I saw her, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be just like her. And then I actually saw Wicked on a stage in Chicago, and it was amazing. I really loved it. And I want to be like them. What's your dream role? Right now I'm in Peter Pan. And my dream role is actually getting John. Which is the guy with the top hat. I really want him because I think I would be perfect for the part. I don't know exactly why I want him. But I just want him. Um, plays or musicals? Well I would have to say musicals. Because um, I've been in a lot of musicals. And they're super super fun to be in. So yeah. Favorite improv game? My f sorry, my favorite improv game would have to be Honey, I Love You. Basically, a person stares you in the eye and 
you have to do this without laughing. You stare them in the eye, and they're like, honey, I love, it's like, honey, I love you, will you give me a smile? So you look them in the eyes, and you say, honey, I, you look, there has to be two people. One person says, honey, I love you, now show me your smile. And the other person has to look them back in the eyes without laughing, and saying, honey, I love you, but I won't give you a smile. And it's actually really hard, because I've tried to do it once or twice, and I laughed my, my butt off. It was so bad. I'm so bad at that game. What's your favorite show that I've been in? My favorite show that I've been in has has to be Mulan or Susuko. Um, the big the my favorite show that I've seen would have to be Wicked. That was so good. If you haven't seen it, you must see it. It's amazing. Most awkward on stage moment. So this is when I was in The Little Mermaid. This was a long time ago. Me, my sister, and this other girl had to be running across the stage in order in order for the scene to go on. And they didn't because they totally forgot she was going to get out of her costume. Uh, she was going to get out of her costume until the other girl reminded her, like, we have to do this. And then she was like, oh, my God. So she had to put her costume back on. And then we, I was on stage with this other boy. And then she was like, we have to talk, start talking. I was like what? He was like, you know, these, uh, fate, your sister and somebody else have to go on and do the thing, but they, they're not on. Just pretend to start talking. And then I was like, um, okay. So it was the most awkwardest moment ever. Best offstage moment. Uh, one of the best offstage moments is at the cast party. It's really fun. We go to Dairy Queen and we sing songs. Worst audition, Beauty and the Beast. It was the worst audition ever. I, like, totally just hit rock to bottom at that. It was just too embarrassing. Least favorite show. I don't know. Probably The Little Mermaid. That was kind of boring. Most challenging role to play. I don't know. Most challenging role to play. The one that I worked the hardest on was probably Xi'an Po because he had to be this, like, don't care about the world, don't care about this, don't care about that. And I cared so much about that role, I just couldn't do it. But I finally did it. Uh, would you... What would you do if theater didn't exist? Be bored every Saturday? Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a, leave a like and please subscribe. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye!